Aquarius, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. And this is Born Without Boundaries. For those of you who have just found my channel, my name is Michelle. I'm an oracle and tarot card reader, and this is the weekly week ahead forecast for the zodiac sign of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or whatever placements you have Aquarius influencing in your natal chart, take these energies and apply it where it is applicable. If you are on um, different kinds of platforms that allow uh, for commercial breaks, I will be putting one in now so that there will be no more to interrupt the message. Let me thank you ahead of time because that, whether you know it or not, is actually a donation to the channel and I really appreciate it. So I will be right back. <coughs> So thank you for either sitting through an awkward pause. <clears throat> I apologize for, for either sitting through an awkward pause or sitting through a commercial. Thank you once again. If you haven't already, please do click subscribe and help the channel grow and click that bell so you know when I go live, <clears throat> which is usually daily. All right, guys, let's get into your oracle reading. We'll do a full oracle spread here and then the extended for the full tarot spread and romance reading is, that link is below. So let's get into your oracle card reading for the zodiac sign, sun, moon, rising, or other for Aquarius of uh, 2019, November 3rd through the 10th of 2019 for Aquarius, November 3rd through the 10th of 2019. 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 November 3rd through the 10th of 2019 for Aquarius, Aquarians, 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 Aquarians. You're getting a second chance at something. Aquarians, 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 Aquarians. Aquarius energy for um, November 3rd through the 10th of 2019, Aquarius. Aquarius energy for November 3rd through the 10th of 2019. You're getting a second chance. The energy that's crowning your reading, <clears throat> you're getting a second chance. At something you've been waiting very patiently for. Um, these are the two energies that are crowning your reading. So this is rebirth. Rebirth as something else and something bigger. Something, one would argue, more beautiful, but definitely something different than where you started. And it could have to do with this transformation had to be was led by something that you have very deep feelings for. Now, I know Aquarians don't uh, live in their emotions or talk about their emotions, but they're human, so of course they have emotions. And this is something that you cared for a very long time for, and this is something that you have maybe wanted to get a second chance with for a very long time. I see that coming back. I see it being something that was very uh, emotional for you and so that you put it away for quite some time. And what I mean quite some time is you have been very patient, extremely patient in not paying attention to this, uh, maybe maybe some of you have suppressed it, repressed it, oppressed it, um, pushed it down and not wanted to talk about it, but you have never completely lost the understanding or the feeling for it or the feel or a connection to it. And um, this week, there is a reemergence of that, that. And I want to say that because this is a general reading. So it is not... So there, okay, there is a reemergence of this. It's definitely from your past. I say thing um, because this is a general reading and it could very, very, very well be different things to many of you because there are different people who are watched. So it could be a person and it could be just an opportunity. It could be, you know, um, it could be uh, an idea that you had forgotten and put away, uh, something that you had been working on a long time ago and, and for whatever reason had to detach yourself from it. I say detached because these two cards imply emotion, emotions resurging, coming back to the surface. Maybe maybe something that you thought was gone, um, emotion, the emotions are now coming back. So this is just a tra uh, um, sort of a rebirth 
in, in a certain sense. Um, there also is a sense of feeling more comfortable with it the second time around. Um, it taking on a whole new flavor, new color. And remember, airborne, butterflies are airborne. So it's almost like now, Aquarius, you finally found your wings. Um, you finally found a comfort and a freedom, a way to be yourself and also incorporate this emotion or this um, desire, desire into your life. So let's get a little bit more like that. Sweet results await. So I would say this is better, bittersweet. And what's staring at me and I can't ignore is this, is the wasp card. So I think that these emotions are something that are, bring a gentle touch. The, in other words, these emotions are something that's hard for you to deal with. And it's only through your own sort of se sense of self, your feeling of strength in who you are this week. Um, remember who you are. That's my, that's my, that's this card. That's the message of this card is remember who you are. And I think that sense of self and the strength that you get, that you are the strength of the person that you have become, right? Um, you've gained a lot of emotional strength and you'll need that strength this week because whatever, whatever you're being reminded of did actually sting and it took something from your life. This is something that was taken, something, um, could be spiritual, could be um, a loss of faith or something like, yeah, losing something that made you lose faith in general. Um, but remember, you're being asked to remember your faith and remember spirit and remember that there is a purpose and there is a reason. So there is a sense of, of great, tremendous loss, tremendous loss, but also rebirth and love. Love is flying back in, and I think you'll be a little bit defensive of it this week, Aquarius, just because of, well, look, I mean, there's just a lot that has been hidden. Yeah. Oh, there, these, these cards popped out as well, and they all popped out together. So there, you have been hiding your emotions. You have been hiding your emotions for a long time, and there, it could have been, there could be somebody that was watching and waiting to see. And I think you knew that they were watching and waiting. And so you, you got even better at hiding. Yeah, you got even better at hiding because you knew they were watching and you didn't like the fact that they were watching. Um, something about the fact that they were watching actually kind of disturbed you. Um, it, I'm not saying that they were a stalker. No, I'm trying to say that it kind of irritated you that they have watched but they haven't said anything or that this opportunity has like, it seems these people have kept their eye on you, but they haven't made an offer. Um, there is, there's something that's very slow. There's a slow moving energy about this. And like I said, you moved on and you were able to do the other things with your life, but there's this reemergence of this emotional connection to needing that. And the reason I think that the emotional, the reemergence of that emotional reaction is coming up to you, uh, coming up for you, Aquarius, is because there is an aspect of it that needs to be solved and settled and finished out. You have become defensive. You've grown defensive because of it. You've grown potentially, potentially bristly because of it. And the, the, the message is saying it's time. You know how doves are released to celebrate love? It's time to release this old energy that's that's harmed you, that's hurt you. It's time to release this old disappointment and this old fear or this old hope that something would happen either between you and somebody else or or the, the old opportunity. You 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 may have put it away, but you didn't really heal it. You, you may have suppressed it, but you didn't really, but it's still there. And there's this reemergence of that emotional connection. That emotional bubble comes up and it stings and it hurts. And you'll feel those feelings. But the wonderful thing about it is you're feeling those feelings in order to finally heal. It's like resetting of a bone type of healing. Ouch. The pain is back. It's back, but it's pain for healing. It's not pain to just put you through the ringer again. And at least I hope, Aquarians, you don't decide to be put through the ringer again because I do feel like this energy um, could potentially, potentially become karmic and keep coming up again and again and again. And if nothing is learned or you hold on to it, you know, because you have a very clever mind, 
I mean, but I don't see any use your mind wisely. I think just just like because I'm a Cancerian, so just like for Cancerians, logic and 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 letting your brain lead you is sometimes what we don't even understand the language. I think for you, the opposite is true, and trusting emotions enough to let this out is not something. That, it was something that was almost illogical to you. Illogical to you. It was, it, it didn't make any sense. It was like, no, I'm just going to cut it off. I'm going to put it out of my mind. But there was something about this, this, this person, this opportunity, this thing that you desired that you could not put fully out of your mind, that even your amazing brain couldn't just cut it right out because it had already sunk deeper than your brain. And it's, in other words, you spent enough time with this desire for it to really to sink low, sink somewhere where your intellect could not go. And that's why this week it's reemerging. It's coming up. Mercury retrograde is in full effect and it doesn't just happen. It could be a person coming back from the past that ignites all of this, or it could bubble up all on its own, whatever the impetus. And maybe just maybe over in tarot, when we do the full tarot spread, we'll come up with the reason what, what might be the catalyst for this. Right now, I don't see the catalyst. I see the reality. I see what is going to be affecting you intuitively, emotionally this emotionally this week. And I I think it has to do with you I think it has to do with you becoming aware that somebody was um hiding out or somebody was um somebody was watching you or this opportunity was something was was hidden in some way and it could very well even be like uh, an email got lost and you'd been expecting it months ago and it never came through and so you thought you were forgotten about or um you know the you didn't get the job or whatever and now all of a sudden it it surfaces and you're kind of like it it bothers you it hurts you it hurts you because you hurt so badly back then and you suppressed it. You pushed it down so that you didn't have to feel it. And you thought you cut it out. You didn't cut it out. And whatever this message comes through, whatever this uh, acquaintance, a reacquaintance comes in, um, whatever, another, whatever this person, whatever this piece of information is that brings it up again, it almost like pushes that bubble that you hidden in up to the surface. It's good. It needed to come out. It was absolutely necessary. And I think you're going to find um, that it gives you a lot of peace and a lot of strength where you had become very, very defensive. And it, it, it is better for you because you don't want to be defensive. I see that you have a lot of all you're wearing, all of your swords. You're very protective. And I think that that could in some way be blocking opportunities that you could move on to because you're defensive. You do not want anything to get through again. And you've been a little bit too protective and so stuck. And what this will do in this reemergence and this healing to a place where you can actually deal with it and understand it is it will unstick you. I'm going to turn the cards, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see all the cards. This is a pretty big, big spread. Hold on. See what I mean? Big spread. <clears throat> and as I was turning the camera around, I realized that the the time frame on the camera had gone to 1332. And the message that I got from that was, because 333 is a blessed trinity. Trinity, It's the holy number. It's a big old yes and blessings and, and beauty and wishes are coming true, right? That's what 333 means. It's always meant to me. And 332 is like this close. And that's what I heard. You were this close. This close to being with somebody. This close to getting the love of your life, having your dreams come true, having that dream job, having that, you were this close and it was shut down. And there was so much disappointment that you were angry. But the way Aquarians get angry is they just shut down. They close off and they push it away and they make it not exist. You know, for something this emotional, if somebody just pisses you off, you may just shred them with your words. But that's not what this is. That's not this kind of pain. It's not somebody you you can deal with people who just piss you off. 
this is something that absolutely hurt you. It got to your emotions. Because like I said, I understand you're Aquarian, but we're all human. And unless you're total socio-psychopathic, you don't, you don't, you have feelings and feeling things matter to you emotionally. We are all emotional creatures. And so, um, this got to you. Absolutely. And, 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 and you thought, you know, there's part of you, because I think you're more self-aware than that, then that there's part of you that knew this never went away. And like I said, it's been around for a while. It's re-emerging. These emotions are coming back. Somebody from the past may be coming back into your life this week or this message, whatever the trigger is. And like I said, we'll go over to, we'll go over that, um, when we go into our full tarot spread over on Vimeo. But uh, right now, what I can absolutely tell you is um, this was hidden for a long time. And I think that that's part of what, what hurts you so bad is wait a second. I went, and like, in other words, it, it, it should have been good news if it had come in on time. Because you were waiting around, waiting for this. Watch and wait. You've been waiting for this for so long. It broke your heart because it felt like a no, because it just didn't come. And it, it part of this is, part of this disappointment is the timing is wrong. The timing is off. You needed it for your heart and soul months ago, if not years ago. That's when you needed it. And you are really angry really angry. That's what I feel. You have a very cool collected anger, but I feel anger leading into hurt, maybe an ugly cry, and then being angry again because it made you cry because you don't like to feel like that. Right? That's what's happening. You're finally realizing this was sitting there waiting the whole time. It never left. It's kept watching you. So why did it leave to begin with? You don't understand that. Why did it leave to begin with? And now you're just bristling. You're so, so pissed. And you've got all your swords out. And you're ready to fire them. You want to hurt somebody almost. Because it's almost like you put me through this much pain for nothing. For nothing. Either you're still interested in me. Or you haven't been able to get your mind off of me. But you ended up with that other person. Or... Oh, you, you, you didn't give me this dream job. You gave it to somebody who was 10 years younger than me. And now you're coming back around. I still see you looking at my LinkedIn profile, looking at my credentials, asking for advice. You are bristling with, with anger, anger. And it's good because it's, it's purging this attachment that was still there to this thing. To this thing that clearly did not have the courage to keep up with you. Understood? Now I'm going to see a little bit um, over in over in with tarot what exactly it is that brings it up, that that brings it back into your life this week. Um, and we'll do a full tarot card spread and then see if it rolls over into the romance reading. I'll see you guys over there.